Hi, it's Gemma here. I hope you're having a great day. Today I thought I'd read Day 297 of The Secret Daily Teachings by Rhonda Byrne. Uh, the most powerful way parents can help their children be positive is to be the living example of positivity and love themselves. As a parent focuses on being those things, their children will absorb all of their positivity. As we become more and more positive and more and more joyful by our powerful example, we uplift all of those around us. That's very interesting to me. I think it's challenging um, when, because I personally feel like all feelings are valid. So positive, negative, I think, you know, we have them for a reason. It's all good to have the feelings. I think to encourage positivity in children is beautiful and kindness and respect and like tolerance and consideration of others. Um, I think Kids have such big feelings, though, that it's really hard to distinguish the difference of allowing someone to just feel the feelings and be, like, okay in that and then being like, no, you can't be sad, you have to be happy. I don't think that's what it's saying here. I mean, I wouldn't imagine so. But that, that for me, is where I'm like, all feelings are valid. Allow yourself to feel the thing, feelings. But I also encourage positivity and encourage, like, beautiful conversations, especially with children because they're so receptive that it's wonderful to obviously make them feel good and to teach them a kind and positive thing. So I think that is awesome, but also just the sad stuff's okay too. The sad stuff sometimes will let you understand more about yourself and what you can and can't handle and therefore will only encourage the positivity to come around you more because you're allowing that space for everything to breathe. I hope that makes sense and if it doesn't that's okay because it's just my uh my perspective which is whatever <laughs> hope you have a lovely day and are taking care have a good one bye